you guys been curious about Young Living skincare? Well, today I'm going to dive into all of it. All right, guys, I've had a lot of you guys ask me questions about which face facial wash do you recommend more than another? Which um, moisturizer and so on and so on. So today I'm going to jump into all the Young Living ones that I have had an opportunity to try, share my perspective, and if you have any questions about any of them, leave them in the comments below. I don't know what my hair is doing. It's trying to go woohoo. Hello. And for those of you that are new to this channel, my name is Elizabeth from Adair Green Moments. Welcome. I share videos here about health, wellness, and essential oils. So and every Tuesday, Thursday, and mostly Fridays. And if you're into Disney cruises, vacation vlogs, and home renovations, our other channel, Madeira Vlog Moments, has all that stuff on Mondays and Wednesdays. So that covers all the days of the week, right? <laughs> Except for the weekend. So I have my product guide for 2018, and I'm just gonna jump in. If I have the product over here, I will bring it up and show you. And um, I can only share about my experience and what I enjoy and my thoughts. But if you have a product that is Young Living skincare related and I haven't mentioned it and you're thinking, I can't believe she hasn't mentioned this one, leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what product you're obsessed with from Young Living for skincare and why. That way we can encourage each other and maybe I need to add something to my essential rewards for the next time. Okay. The very first one here in my book is the Art Cream Mask, and this is my second container, and it lasts forever. You only need a pea size amount. It smells incredible. It says here that it's to deeply moisturize the skin, and it has a exclusive blend of hyaluronic acid and pure essential oils, and it has like a spa quality. It has an incredible scent. The packaging, it may not look like much by the box, but when you get to it, it is very luxurious. And because you only need a pea size amount, it lasts all, so much. Like, it really lasts forever. I um, dab it onto my face after I've done my whole skincare routine, and I usually only do it Saturday nights. I, why do I do it Saturday night? Because I just want to make sure I do it once a week. And it's very, very thick, so it's not moving here at all. This is my second container. It lasts, I'd say, about a year, like six months to a year. And I don't do it every Saturday, but mostly. Saturdays and it, your skin just feels like butter afterwards. <laughs> That's like the most luxurious thing I get to get butter off. Oh, it just feels so nice. Okay, um, the next one I have here is the Art Gentle Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. It's my first skincare product from Young Living. I started with the Light Moisturizer, the Art Refreshing Toner, and the Cleanser, and they had um, a night moisturizer too, which I don't think they carry anymore. Um, I'll look as I go through the book and see. But it's this kit right here, and you could only get it on Essential Rewards at the time. And that is how I jumped into the whole Young Living skincare, and it changed my skincare routine, and I became obsessed after trying this. So if you're wanting to try um, Young Living skincare, I recommend out of everything, you try this first. This is like the base, and then you can add the <laughs> um, intensive cream mask. You can add some different moisturizers, but start with this first. So what you do is you take off your makeup and then you cleanse your face as a foaming cleanser. You get your face wet, lather this, and then um, you use the toner, which is very invigorating, cl cleanses your skin. And then I wait like a minute or two, brush my teeth or whatever, let that kind of dry, and then I do my moisturizer before the night. And then in the morning, kind of wash my face off and then I do the moisturizer before I put my makeup on. But it is just such a good base, so I really recommend you doing that first and trying it. There's the Art Intensive Moisturizer. The most exciting thing about that moisturizer is the pump. So it comes in a cylinder container like this one that I showed, and you actually hold down the whole lid and push it down, and it comes out a little spout in the middle. And it's a nice, nice moisturizer. I don't have any complaints about it. I do love it. It is a little bit pricier. It's $67 wholesale. And I'll get to another moisturizer in a little bit that's comparable to price and that I prefer even more so than that. Now, if this other moisturizer didn't exist, I would be all about the Art Intensive Moisturizer. I mean, it is really nice. It's really, really nice. It's very moisturizing. It's not too thick. Um, the next one is the Art Beauty Masks. I think I've t posted pictures or video of myself with it on. And I look ridiculous because it's one of those paper masks. And not only... Um, is it crazy? And it was my first time experiencing Young Living's paper mask, but it was my first time experiencing a paper mask ever. So I'd never tried it before. 
So I didn't know what to expect. Kind of slid all over my face and then someone recommended doing the intensive mask, moisturizing mask, and then doing the paper one on top. And that helped because then it didn't slide off my face. Uh, there are four in a pack. I think it used to be like six or eight and that's $47 wholesale. I already talked about the light moisturizer and the refreshing toner. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. Now this is a splurge item that I don't think you need, but you will love. <laughs> this smells just like the intensive moisturizer. It goes with the whole set. See how beautiful that is? This is a splurge that I use my points on because I don't need it. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe my skin loves it. It says Re revitalizing blend of orchid petals and essential oils. It's 20 milliliters or 0.68 fluid ounces. Um, intricate exotic orchid e extract and essential oils, the most delicate areas of your face. So they say you wash your face, do your art renewal serum to your delicate area of areas of your face two times daily and allow to absorb. I find this is very moisturizing. So I don't, I do my moisturizer on after this, but I only do it at night. So I do love it. It's very, very thin serum, but it works wonders. It's really, really nice. The next one is the Art Sheer Lume Brightening Cream. That is my favorite moisturizer. And I don't have it over here because it's gone. I've used it all. <laughs> Um, it is $69 wholesale and it says and it's an advanced formula powered by a sophisticated proprietary blend of Alpine Botanicals pure essential oils. It will brighten and balance your skin tone and I noticed that it did brighten my skin tone and balance it and I just love it. I love how luxurious it was and a little bit went a really long way. Basuela cream I haven't tried. Essential beauty serum. This guys has such a cheap price tag. <laughs> It is only $20 wholesale, so compared to some of the other ones, look at that. This is newer packaging from the last time I purchased this. This serum is for dry skin, and it has blue cypress and lavender, known for the restoring skin's natural moisture balance. They recommend you add three to five drops daily to your moisturizer and apply all over your face. So I bought this to interchange with this. So I'm not using this every day because this is like 70 something dollars and we'll go quickly. This is my second time getting this one. Second time getting this one, second time getting this one, and the Art Skincare line, I can't even tell you how many times I've purchased it. It's been that many, probably three to five times. Uh, let's see, Orange Blossom Facial Wash. That is so hard to say, Facial Wash. Melissa Pepping gets all my praise and credit for this tip, and if she got it from somewhere else, then we'll give credit where credit's due. If you came up with this, thank you so much. But basically, what you do is you get a foaming dispenser like this one, or you can buy a um, foaming dispensers on Amazon and you do two tablespoons or two squirts of the orange blossom face, wa face wash and then the rest water and then your orange blossom facial wash is $41 will last you for a year like unreal so instead of repurchasing art over and over and over again you can refill it with the orange blossom pretty incredible it is so good and then this summer they came out with the orange blossom moisturizer for normal to oily skin and I find this very comparable to the light moisturizer the art I like them equally I don't think I have one favorite over another but I've really enjoyed this and it's really 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 light and it's great with the dry serum dry skin serum adding a little bit to that at nighttime all right the next one is one that I have purchased probably three to five times over and this is the satin facial scrub mint <laughs> that's what they say fat satin facial scrub mint you think it'd be called the mint satin facial scrub unless they're going to come up with other scents of it i don't know i love it i do this once sometimes twice a week to exfoliate my skin i find it's not very harsh it's very fine particles that help um exfoliate but my skin really really loves it so you're getting that dead skin cells off so that your new skin can shine it says that it contains jojoba oil mango butter msm aloe peppermint essential oil to minimize the appearance of pores and invigorate dull skin so yeah i don't use it too often i use it about once or twice a week for sure uh wolfberry eye cream right here and you only need like a dab like look it probably doesn't even look like i have used any because you don't need very much. It does move though, it's not solidified in there. And I just dab it with not a dominant finger that you have a lot of control over because your eye area is very delicate. So I usually use my ring finger, dab a little bit on and then just pat it on before bed. And I don't do it every day, but I probably do it about every other day. And one I don't see in the catalog because 
I think I heard they're getting rid of it, correct me if I'm wrong, is the sandalwood moisturizer. I think I heard that from my upline. I got this for a winter moisturizer. Granted, it doesn't get that cold here in Florida, but this is an extremely thick moisturizer. So we've enjoyed using it even on our feet, which I think sandalwood is great for your brain and it's connected to your feet. So that's really good. We've also enjoyed it on our elbows too and our knees and a tiny, tiny bit goes a really long way. So you can see it is like two thirds the way full. We've barely used it. Um, I find it's a little bit much for my face, so it really has to be colder to use it. I think if I was still living in Canada, this would be like a go-to. And I've heard the Bosuela is actually like a thicker cream too. A newer product that I've added to my collection is the Mira Luminous Cleansing Oil that helps get off your makeup. So it says um, apply three to four pumps to dry hands and massage onto face to cleanse and remove makeup. So I really love the, love the Mira scent. Um, and it just works really, really well. A little bit goes a long way. There are a lot of body care products that I could talk about, but I wanted to limit it to, limit it to just skincare products. So those are the skincare products that I have experienced. I wanted to share with you guys my experience, what I love, what I don't love. Let me know in the comments down below if there's a standout product that you're obsessed with from Young Living and how you use it and why it's your favorite. And then um, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already to see more videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks. Bye, guys.